All right, Mission Family is back with part three for kicking. Um, remember, if your goal for this series was to improve your punches, that'll be a different video. Um, but this video here is going to cover some of the options, some of the attacks you can use with your lead leg for kicking. Okay, so <clears throat> without further ado, first step was our stationary step, right? For my kickers, you're told to just pick the leg up, right? Now, to add your attack to it, you're either going to pick that leg up and snap, right? Like you're throwing a front kick or a snap kick, okay? Or you can pick that leg up like a side kick, right? You can hit with the side of my foot. Or if I wanted, I could even flick it out like a fast roundhouse kick, okay? So a couple of options. Obviously, there's still more than that. Obviously, you could throw a caressing kick, outside roundhouse kick, a bunch of different things with it, all right? But your basic three could be a snap, flick it out like a round kick, or turn it like a side kick, okay? Remember, that step one, the back leg does not move, all right? Step two, our drop back step. This was our defensive step, okay? Now, I'll show you from the side first. This step required us to take our lead leg and step back, okay? As soon as we step back with that leg, we now have the same options to attack with, okay? Obviously there's more, but the basic three, you can throw it like a front kick or snap kick. You can extend it out like a round kick or push it out like a side kick, okay? So as you step back, now this hip is set behind you. You can generate a little more power, but remember that is a defensive step. That's gonna require your opponent or your target to get closer to you to be able to land your attack, okay? Now, step three. That was our walking step, right? We bring our back leg forward, okay? Now, you have those options, either right when you get to that stance, you can throw that kick, okay? Throw the round, or throw the side kick, right? Now, <clears throat> other option, as soon as you step forward, okay, you can then use that kick and come back to where you were and retreat, or you can use that kick to advance forward, okay? All you have to do, the only difference is, after you do your walkthrough step, when you throw your kick, if I'm coming forward, I let the foot come down in front of me, okay? If I wanna return back, all I do is I step forward, throw my kick, and then I go back the way I came, okay? So, same options, right? Again, don't be afraid to get creative. You can add in more advanced kicks if you know them, all right? Muay Thai students, you can add in foot jabs and knees, right? You can go for leg kicks, all that good stuff. Now, fourth step, final one is our switch, okay? This one will be pretty self-explanatory as well. As soon as you switch, kick, then you're right back to your stance. Switch, kick, get right back to your stance. Switch, kick, get right back to your stance. Okay, from the side, from here. Switch, kick, right back to your stance. Switch, kick, right back to your stance. Okay, for my tie students, if you want to try this one, switch, knee, come right back to your stance. Okay, so there you have it. There's all four of your basic steps with a couple ideas and options for you to set up kicks with, okay? Make sure you check out that video. If you really want to learn the punches, make sure you go check out that one. And um, don't forget, tomorrow, 4.30, we'll have ourselves a live YouTube workout. Okay, we're going to cover all these uh, different steps, attacks. And we're also going to go over the four videos from earlier this week. Okay, so make sure you check the date on the video. If you're watching this after the fact, you can still catch the live video. It'll be uploaded to our past live stream uploads okay thank you guys very much work hard if you got any questions please let me know and hope to see you guys tomorrow for the live video thank you